Relusion has reinvented movie making with an ideology. Create, play, edit, and share. Which allows you to play to create your movie. Hey, Clonebot Zach here, and today we're going to talk about production. The create, play, edit, and share. So first, let's create a quick stage here. Let's throw in some terrain, like this community center here. And then let's add in a sky. Let's choose... Hmm, I like this sky. Alright. So we throw in a sky, we throw in some terrain. Now let's throw in some actors. Let's choose this girl right here. Throw her into the stage. Alright, and now let's get... Hmm. So then we can go back to set open up the props and let's throw in a car real quick Okay, so we want our actor to get into the car so we click on the car and right click go to operate rider get in forever get in okay and so the action begins she starts to walk over she walks over to the car opens the door hop in the car perfect okay now it's time to get into the play part so we created our stage now it's time to actually play and record the action okay so let's have the car selected switch to director mode when we're ready press action and using the WASD con control keys drive the car around so let's drive down the road doo -doo 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 -doo. okay let's pull over to the left here yeah, all right and then let's right click on the car still in director mode and tell the driver to get out get out of my car all right, good. Okay, so now let's try watch it again in editor mode, so we can see that the the, the action that we recorded is what we wanted it to be. So she's driving down the road, drives over, pulls over, gets out of the car. Okay, not a problem. All right, so here we are about to record the action, and we want her to drive along here in the editor mode. But then, at this point in time, we want the camera, we don't want this car anymore. Say for instance, we want the, the image layer of actually being inside the car. So choose the image layer. And this kind of simulates as if we're actually driving the car, kind of like it, how you would feel if you're playing a computer game. So, driving the car along, still using the WASD, there we go. Alright, but before you play to create, make sure you click on the object you want, such as this dance floor, then switch to director mode. And once you're in the director mode, you can use the hotkeys like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to do all kinds of different animation. Notice how the floor is changing the lights, the animation lights, so the lights are moving around. Maybe we can have a few particle effects. There we go. And we also have some laser effects, I think. Where are they? There they are. Perfect. But that's all cool, but why is my dancer just standing there? Not a problem. You click on the dancer in the editor mode, switch back to the director mode, and now I can use the same hotkeys to make my dancer dance. But notice that the floor is also continuing its animation, so you can build your story layer by layer. First the floor animation, then the dancer's animation, or whatever other animation you want to add in. Okay, so, here's a neat little trick that we have for the timeline. So, notice the action is down there in the yellow bars. By pressing these next segment keys, you can choose which segment of animation you want to look at. So, say for instance, maybe at this point in time in the timeline, she's supposed to dance like this dance right here. Well, let's say I don't like that dance, so I can click this, bring back the animation segment, and let's edit it, because we're in the edit mode. So we'll go and say catwalk. So at that moment in the timeline, I don't want her to dance, I would prefer her to just walk. So she walks down to this way, catwalking, catwalking back, and that's how I can edit the action for that segment. Alright, so we can play it back. Yep. Alright. Play. So now she walks does the catwalk. Alright, so let's take a look at something else. Earlier I recorded the action of this fighter dude jumping off the top of the building. Not smart to do in real life, so be careful, but at this moment in the edit when he's jumping up in the air, I don't like his arms being off to the side, so let's get a better camera view. Choose camera 02 and let's change his... Oh, um, uh, let me see. Yeah, here's a good angle. So at that point in time on the timeline, I want this camera to look at him at this at this point. And I don't like the animation of him jumping with his arms like this at the side. So I come over here, click the mirror, and I want his arms to go straight up. There we go. Alright, that looks about right. That looks, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so let's watch. So play in the action, he jumps up, the arms go up, and ba-doom, he lands. But that's how I can edit out the action, how I want. 
Okay, so let's take a quick case study of create, play, edit, and then how to share. So once again, let's create a stage real quick. Throw a few things in there. Got a few objects, a few props. I'm going to run through this real quick, all right? So everyone just follow along. Move things around. Throw in an actor. Adjust my actor. Move him around. Rotate. Rotate. Not very good. All right? So now let's take a look at lights. Edit the light. Create the lights that I want. Don't like that light. I'm change this light here. Get my gizmo. Move my light around. Move it closer. Hmm. Change the color of the light. I'm gonna say yellow. Okay. Change the ambient light. Make it a little darker in the room. There we go. All right. Move the light around. Let's see here. Change the light. I want the light not to be shown. Let's let's link it to the character. Let's not link it to its head, let's link it to its bone root so it doesn't bounce around unnaturally. Alright, what else can you do? Let's see, what else can I do to set it up? Alright, nothing. So I guess I'm going to play it out now. So here I am playing. I've done created the stage. Now I'm going to play out the action. So I'm going to have my actor walk down the hall with the light. And pretty soon I should see my little monster friend. Ta-da! There's my monster friend. So I'm going to walk up to him. Hello. Alright. So now we're going back into the edit mode. And all right, so I have created the stage. I have played out the action. Now I'm going to edit it. Now I didn't like how the light was, so I'm going to change the light system. Instead of having it just follow me, I'm going to change it more like a flashlight. And I didn't like the color yellow, so I'm going to change it to red to make it a little bit more scary. I'm going to change the decay, change the range a little bit, make it a little longer. Maybe that out. Maybe it shorter. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to change the angle a little bit, make it wider, yeah, sure, there we go, so change the fallout, there we go, alright, move this around a little bit, closer to me so it looks like more like a flashlight from my avatar, okay, alright, so let's see here, and make, me make sure I link it to the parent, not the head, but the bone root, because I don't want to bounce around so crazy like. Alright, so let's see what that looks like. So he walks along. Now the light is red. It looks more like a flashlight being facing forward. It's coming along. It's a little bit more scarier now when I see my monster. There he is. But you know what? I don't like that red light after all. And I don't like my friend either or just punch me in the face. Let's say, for instance, at this point in time on the timeline, I don't like the color red, so I'm going to have it turn blue. That way, over the timeline, as, while the animation in the play is going along, you'll notice that the light goes from red, starts red, so it starts to turn a little purple right about now. And there it goes, turning purple, and it should start to turn blue. Right when I see my little friend. There it is, turning blue. Alright, and that's how you can edit. But what now? Now that I have played, I have created, I have played, I have edited, now it is time to share. So go to the export tab, and here you can choose either image, or videos, or image sequences. There's uh, some other stuff that we talk about later about those three things. So let's quickly look through it, and notice you can change many different parameters, such as the size, such as the, you can choose a custom size or a standard size. You can also change the range for the for the clips you want. Maybe you can just start with the very beginning and cut out the end or have just the end. But it's up to you. It's your movie. It's your project. So have fun.